Hello Tom Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be talking about a showcase video, specifically a script I made called TN Autoclick Macro, this is version 1, uh, just like a clicking, typing macro I made that I thought would be useful for you all because I had some friends and people using it, they liked it, um, your feedback is definitely welcome, I just kind of created this on, uh, my computer shared it with a few people so if you guys want me to expand on it let me know in the comments below uh, i have a few other plans um, but it's pretty simple right now so we're gonna go ahead take a look at it I'm not really gonna talk much about the code because it just kind of does what it does but if you want to tweak it you know it's available in the description below I'll also be on my discord if you guys want to talk there about it or comment it's up to you um but yeah let's take a look uh this is using auto hockey v1 uh, eventually I am gonna make a v2 version uh, I just started it with v1 just because everybody I knew that wanted to use this had v1 so I just went with that um, but I'll make a v2 later once I kind of solidify the idea here um, but yeah basically we're just gonna launch it it's gonna pop up with a GUI uh, I plan to make this look a little prettier this is like I said very basic version 1 um, so yeah let's talk about what it does so speed and window name you do need to fill in uh, speed is basically the delay between the actions, the clicks, uh, so it's in milliseconds, uh, so 100 milliseconds is just the default, you change it to whatever you want, so for example if you wanted to do 1 second, you would just do 1000 milliseconds. Uh, window name, um, you need this because uh, if you don't, if you leave this blank, first of all, it just won't work, it'll tell you, hey, you need to, so if I click it now, the window name is blank. Um, so you obviously need to have a window name. This is a safety feature to prevent it from if you uh, the app closes or you alt tab at by accident. It's just going to stop the program. That way it's not doing a bunch of crazy things you don't want it to do on your computer. Um, you can get the window name by just typing it in if you look at it. Um, but an easier way is get name. Uh, so you click that. It's just going to give you a little pop-up. Make window active and press F2. So we can push OK and go ahead and do that. So let's start with, uh, let's just use the calculator. Keep it simple. So here's the calculator. Um, we can go ahead while we have this active, active push F2. Uh, it's just called calculator, so that's pretty easy. And it's copied to your clipboard automatically. That way we can go back here and just control V uh, calculator. So now we have this all set up. We want a thousand second delay between each click and it's going to work only in the calculator window. So we have different modes. We have single click, which just basically spam clicks wherever your mouse currently is. So you can move your mouse around and it's going to still click. Uh, two point, uh, we'll show that in action, but you get to choose two uh, locations and it's going to click. Random is going to take the active window and just randomly click within the boundaries of that window. Uh, long clicks is a little bit different. It's going to hold down the key, but it's going to hold it down for the speed. So the speed's kind of reverse in this mode. Um, so instead of clicking every 1,000 seconds, or sorry, every 1,000 milliseconds or one second, it's going to hold the click down for one second and then release and then repeat. Uh, and then key spam, you basically just put a key in there, it's just going to spam that key on how f it's based off the speed. So let's go ahead, uh, we'll do single point uh, mode here. So single point, we're just going to click, and it takes about a second for it to start, and as you can see, it's uh, going ahead and it's just every one second it's clicking. I can move my mouse down, now it's clicking there. Uh, you do have this little toggle you can see here, it says single click mode and uh, F1. So I just clicked on that, or you can just make it click outside the window and it's gonna restart the macro as a safety feature, like I said. Uh, let's go ahead and just clear this real quick. Uh, next, we can sit there and, um, you know, let's do like three seconds, which is 3,000 milliseconds. In the calculator, uh, we can do two point. Um, so you're gonna get this little pop-up tool tip. It says click first point. So we'll click seven. Then it's going to say click second point. We'll do three. Once you do this, it's now just going to go ahead and activate. And uh, it's just going to start clicking back and forth every three seconds. So as you see, my hands are up in the air. And yeah, just every uh, three seconds, it's just jumping back and forth. Um, I can go ahead and push F1. And that's going to reload it and stop it. 
uh, random, like I said, just going to take the active window and it's just going to randomly click at uh, whatever speed, as you can see, uh, I'm doing there. Um, well, it's kind of doing it a little bit fast there because um, I had it at 100 milliseconds. Um, let's see, long click. I uh, can't really show that very well on here, but whatever. Um, but for key spam, let's go ahead and open Notepad. Let's take a look at there. It's probably the best place to see this visually. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Um, so we're, we need a new window name, so F2. It's called, because uh, it's not saved, it's just asterisk, uh, hello notepad. So that's in our clipboard now. We're going to go ahead and throw that in there, and let's change this to like 5, uh, five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. Click key spam. That's just going to give you a little pop-up. Obviously, this is not very pretty gooey. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the uh, visuals just yet until I solidify the idea a little bit more and hear from you all. Um, so you can do something simple like put a K and it's just going to spam the key K or you know you can do like ABC it's going to spam ABC so we can push go <clears throat> and it's just going to type ABC it's going to wait that five seconds uh, type ABC again and it's just going to keep doing this. Um, another thing you can do, too, uh, with this, with key spam, is if you want to use something like your space bar, um, you can literally, well, let's use enter because it's easier to see visually. So we can just type in enter. So you got to actually spell out the name, enter or space uh, or tab is another one. Um, that's all I've really set this up for, but I'll be adding more. Um, so we can go ahead and push OK. And... Okay, I just clicked while I was doing that, but it was pushing enter a bunch, which we can see here. See, the cursor's all the way down here now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so far, the key spam, as far as outside of like numbers or letters, uh, it does uh, space, enter, and tab. Uh, eventually, I plan to add some other ones like escape, delete, backspace um, to make it a little bit more universal uh, for your needs. Uh, but yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below if there's something, a specific like new mode you want me to do, uh, or if something here is just not working very well. I was also thinking, um, since I have it kind of like, uh, like the safety feature where you are in that window, if you click out of the window name, it automatically stops and reloads the script. I was maybe thinking of adding um, like another mode that's like called like safety off mode. And it'll allow you to uh, use this for multiple programs. So if you want to jump between two different windows, you can. And it will still work without doing that. But, you know, obviously I'll have a warning saying, hey, like, hey, be careful. If you do this, you know, you could lose control of your computer. But if you do, all you got to do is just push F1 and it's just going to stop where it's at. Uh, so at least that extra safety feature is there. Um, but yeah, alright everybody, thanks for watching, uh, hopefully I get some good feedback and we'll have a version 2 coming out soon, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye!